In our experience, many homeowners don't know how to size. In other words, determine the ideal tankless water heater for their needs. And while that can mean poor performance for other brands, this video series helps solve that problem for Stiebel Eltron users. Unsurprisingly, we get a lot of questions about flow rates, today's topic. So this video will help explain the concept. Tankless water heaters operate very differently from traditional tank type heaters. One of the most important differences is that tankless units rely on flow rates, or water output. This is measured in GPM, short for gallons per minute, which describes how many gallons of water flow out of your faucet at a time. Flow rates can vary greatly between fixtures, so it's essential to know how much water actually flows out of a sink or shower, or how large a tankless water heater you require. Higher flow rates require more powerful water heaters. For sizing, the total output of all fixtures, which may run concurrently at certain times, has to be taken into account. Our smallest unit, the Mini 2, is limited to a flow rate of 0.32 gallons per minute, which means that it is only intended for hand washing use with one very low flow bathroom faucet. Our models range in size from the Mini 2 to the top of the line Tempra 36, capable of supporting many showers throughout your whole home at once. In all cases, we have a model to meet the needs of your home. Most water-saving bathroom faucets dispense water at a half gallon per minute or more, meaning they will require a more powerful unit. If you expect to have 2.5 GPM sinks operating at a time, for example, you'll need a model capable of producing at least one GPM of hot water. Kitchen sinks dispense even more water than a bathroom sink. Their max flow rate is 2.2 gallons per minute, but many have lower flow rates. And since they are often used for more than simply washing hands, they often need hotter water meaning that our larger point-of-use units are typically required to meet the demand. If you expect to use a 1.5 GPM kitchen sink at the same time as one shower, the most common scenario in our experience, you'll need a model capable of producing 3 GPM like our Tempra 24. Commercial or janitor sinks produce the highest flow rates. These can deliver flow of up to 4 gallons per minute. Depending on the exact flow rates and how hot the water needs to be, a commercial sink may require a smaller whole house temper model to supply enough hot water. Shower head flow rates vary from a low flow rate of 1 GPM to 2.5 GPM. Most modern low flow shower heads provide the same shower experience as higher flow models. Most newer shower heads have a GPM of under 2.5 and are therefore considered low flow. If you are unsure if you have a low flow shower head, our easy to use blog post here will help you assess it. If you have a higher flow rate shower head, it can be easily replaced with a lower flow rate model. This will save money because the lower flow shower head uses less hot water and less water overall without sacrificing comfort. We almost always recommend one of our whole house temporal water heaters to supply hot water to a shower. Sometimes, however, with an extremely low flow shower head, or in warm climates like Florida, Texas, and Southern California, one of our largest point-of-use models can work to supply hot water for a single shower. We hope this answers your initial questions about flow rates. Click here for the next video, which will provide more information on tankless water heater heating capacity and how it relates to water flow rates. Or check out our channel for more videos about our energy-saving products.